Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. It is the eve of week number two, and man, I don't know about you, it's the quiet before the storm, and the place is empty, it's just me, it's just you right now, and I'm going to go ahead and kill the music, it's just me and you right now, as we prepare to see our Dallas Cowboys tomorrow afternoon taking on the LA Chargers, all the talk is done, it's now the time to put up or shut up in this battle, now, I, I don't know about you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm nervous, anxious, or what it is, but I can't wait for tomorrow. I literally am just like, oh, I just can't get here soon enough. I, I feel like a kid at Christmas, and I'm not sure that I'll sleep. Uh, I'll get up early in the morning, get all the TVs and stuff uh, turned on for the games and things. Uh, I've got to prepare some food and stuff because we've got uh, all you great fans that are going to be coming in and joining us and being part of our live stream. And we're going to start out at 1245. Wow. We'll be covering the Eagles versus um, the 49ers. We'll watch some of the other games that are going on that are out there as well and keep you up to date. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun while we're there. And, of course, we'll have the exclusive Philly 500 meltdown cam. So for the Cowboys, we know that we've got all kinds of issues and things that are going on on the team right now as far as injuries and or suspensions and we're not the only one that's dealing with this Let, let's be clear here i mean you look at the baltimore ravens how many running backs they've already gone through and it's only week number two running backs as well as wide receivers um we are not alone in this and hopefully this is kind of the worst of what we're going to get to prevent drop-offs the team, of course, is looking at different ways of moving people and using multiple combinations. Um, you'll remember in preseason we had Connor Williams, who was also playing center. Now, the funny thing that I was saying about this, because the first preseason game he played at center, we had a high snap and a low snap, and you were kind of like, uh, I don't know. Well, this is interesting because when you look at last week, um, to my surprise, the weakest link was not Connor McGovern. The worst graded out member on the Dallas Cowboys offense was actually Tyler Badish, our center, which is not good because he's the only true center that the Cowboys have on the team. Now, what they've been doing, of course, we knew Connor Williams was taking snaps there. But also, too, when I heard that, and I heard the rumors that people might be interested in taking trading for Connor McGovern, I said, don't do that. You never have enough offensive linemen. The thing I was mystified about is Connor McGovern played some center in college. It's like, why weren't they using him also at center? And now, apparently, according to Stephen Jones, they are working him at center as well. Now, um, I guess this is good because ultimately – you're getting guys that can play multiple positions, so ultimately you can have the best five out there. The thing that I'm actually kind of mystified in here, too, is um, with Connor Williams. If Connor McGovern plays that good at guard, Connor Williams, from what I was told, really wanted to be a tackle because, of course, there's the tackle money out there. And I would have to think that Connor. Williams might be a better tackle than, say, Terrence Steele. Although, don't quote me on this. It's too early to go ahead and say that, or he hasn't done any work there at tackle to do that. But ultimately, it may end up becoming that Connor Williams becomes your ultimate uh, swing guy who can play guard, he can play center, and then maybe he can play – we'll have to wait and see. But this is what you have to do to be able to adjust to injuries because you know injuries are always going to come. Now, the big problem, of course, for tomorrow is the fact that we've got Joey Bosa, who is really, really quick. He's got a great motor, high-energy motor. But more than that, he is great with his hands. His hands are fast and they're strong, and he's able to make moves and keep the offensive lineman off of him. And for Connor, excuse me, for Terrence Steele to have to try and negate him, it's not going to be an easy task. 
he is going to be able to probably feast on him if it's one-on-one -on -one battles. And so one of the things that I talked about a few, maybe a week or so ago, um, I think after the Tampa Bay game, was 12 personnel. It was funny. I was explaining to my wife because we were going to the store to pick up some stuff. And I said, honey, you know, I think you're going to be using more 12 personnel. And she's like, what? She said, I thought there's only 11 guys on the field. Kind of the same thing that Roz said. I said, no, 12 personnel. I said, the way it goes is the first number is the amount of running backs. The second number is the number of tight ends. And I said, you know, so if it were 21 personnel, it would be two running backs and one tight end. I said, but if it's one, I mean 12, it's one running back, two tight ends. And I can see, and, and I know the young guns out there, I know the young YouTubers hate this. But see, here's what's kind of interesting right now, okay? We know Amari Cooper is one of the best route runners out there. He's clearly our number one. CeeDee Lamb, slot guy, outside receiver, he's worked in all the different positions. And, you know, you look at these guys, they're really, really good. And then you had Michael Gallup, who was almost a 1,000-yard receiver last year as well. Well, Michael Gallup is gone right now for the next, you know, three to five games. The drop-off to Cedric Wilson is, it's, I mean, I, Cedric Wilson is a good receiver, but he's not Michael Gallup. So this is where you look at this situation of 12 personnel. Mari Cooper's one wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb's the other. Two tight end sets. The cool thing about having one of them injured last year was they both now can catch the football. They both have experience catching the football. And by doing this, if we go with a 12 personnel package, that means you got the tight end there who can help out with Joey Bosa, right? And you can basically dictate whatever the defense does you do the opposite because see typically for the cowboys when they were in a 12 personnel set that was 85 percent probably running the football it's two tight ends it's a heavy formation you've got seven guys to block for zeke elliott which you can do but I've seen them go through. This is before, of course, Mike McCarthy. I remember the Ram game, the first play in 2019. They came out in 12 formation. Zeke came out of the backfield and went out. Blake Jarwin slid out. Now we got a bunch formation, three on one side. And we had Jason Witten catch a pass over here um, short. And so the defense when they see the 12 personnel, they've got to make a choice. Are we going to put eight men in the box and try and stop the run? Or are we going to play it straight up? And this is where, you know, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because if you don't go into eight men in the box, I've got seven blockers and a running back. I'm going to just keep running. I'll, I'll pound the rock right at you. If you only have six men in there, I'm, I've got numbers. I'm going to run the football until you stop it. If you're passing, you have the tight end there that can help out on Joey Bosa. You can chip him and go out in the rat in the flat or come across the middle and be a hot read, Right? If they do put eight men in the box to say, we're going to man up, we're going to make sure we got strength to go ahead and fight against Zeke. I, I got Amari Cooper on one side. I got C.D. Lamb on the other. I got one-on-one -on -one coverage for those guys. What do you think we can do one-on-one -on -one coverage with Amari Cooper against Asante Samuels Jr., a rookie? This will allow the Cowboys to do anything out of that formation. You line up in it. You see what's going on. Dak can make the audibles and the changes on the line. And even better, do it with no huddle. 
you will run them into the ground. That's what I would do if I were the coach of the Cowboys. This way, I'm negating the rush. I can run the football with numbers, or I can pass the football in single coverage. That's simple. I know it sounds that simple, but to me, it's that simple. Maybe I'm crazy. You know, it's not the first time I've been told that I'm a crazy man, but this is what you want to have is versatility. You want to be able to change what you're doing by the defense that's coming at you. You don't want to have a play called where, oh, crap, it's a run play, and we're running into an eight-man front. You want to be able to audible out of that sucker. So with that being said, you know, I've got a lot of work to do. I need to get the trash out here for tomorrow, and I need to take the leaf blower and blow off the leaves and start getting out the cushions, and it's going to be a party tomorrow. And I hope that you all join us because we will have a ball. And uh, my boy Rashid, you know I love you, Rashid. Rashid, I love you, buddy. But you and Pizzle, y'all were hilarious. No! 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 You, you, this is just going to be an ugly-ass game. And currently, the Giants going to FedEx Field are getting three and a half points. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Toilet bowl game of the week. Something weird that's about to happen. Uh, Pizzle. Going to pick the Washington football team. No! I'm an idiot here, and I actually believe that Tyler Heineke is actually better. Fires! Mark Holmes here. <laughs> Call some penalty right there. What a barn burner. Pizzle. Pizzle. Butthole is tight as can be as Washington has the ball on the 35 yard line with 24 seconds left takes a snap looking looking right fires it's rashid versus mark holmes here on this kick keep your money the 200 dollar kick okay keep your money he missed it he missed it what no. what no 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 no, no. 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 are you yes. are, are you shitting me are you shitting me it's on the chance. Wait a minute, hold on. I think of no chance. I think of no chance. I think of no chance. Pizzle! Pizzle! Look at Pizzle! It's good! And that's $200! That's $200! Look at Pizzle! Hey! Look at Pizzle! Look at Pizzle! Look at Pizzle! Pizzle! Sweating in the sun. Oh. Oh, no, he didn't go to a. Fell like a million. Oh. No, he didn't go to an ad. How the fuck am I supposed to be?